So wouldn't you just float across the sky if you could? Well, you can, and it's a huge thrill zipping along at 30 miles an hour, hanging by a thread. Well, actually, it's a 27,000 pound cable. We're zip lining in Helotus on this week's Texas Outdoors. The Texas Hill Country has some beautiful views, and there's a really exciting way you can see them. Head about five miles north from 1604 on Highway 16, and Helotus Hill Country zip lines will give you a view of the hill country you've probably never seen. Yeah, since 1855. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Rodney and Michelle Modla turned 35 acres of their family's homestead into an amazing 10 station zip line course. It took me about nine months to build the whole entire course. About three months to slow the lines down because we were too fast for a handbrake tour. For some people, it may seem a little too scary standing 45 feet off the ground and testing the uncertain. But this course is probably as safe as they come. People have an idea formulated in their mind that this may be a dangerous activity, but it's no more dangerous than getting into the shower in the morning. All right, maybe a little more dangerous than the shower, but they limit the chances. Leah Durain came along with me. Once the staff made sure we were snugly harnessed in. Okay, anything pinching, pulling, binding, feeling all right? Oh, it's good. <laughs> we headed out to the equivalent of skiing's Bunny Hill for a little instruction. I thought there would be brakes on these things. One trip down a piece and it was straight to Tower One. We climbed the stairs, watched the catch guides go first, and Leah was chomping at the bit. Both hands in the trolley, right hand first, left hand on top hand. Like this? Yep, perfect. Step on down. Right here. Right, ready? Yep. On three. One, two, three. Half back. <laughs> the first time across, it is a little unnerving, but it's unbelievably exhilarating. Once you go, there's nothing not to trust. Everything is triple backed up. You would have to have complete failure on every single one of them before the cable would go. And how much is the cable rated for? 27,000. Wow. So 13 That's amazing. Yeah. For the next hour and a half, Leah and I were like two kids, riding from station to station, not even thinking about what was below. So this is line six, 620 feet. This is the highest from the canyon you will be from the ground. You're about 105, 110 feet from the ground, okay? It was more than okay. The shortest run, about 420 feet. The longest, 1,000. But when you're up there doing 30, 35 miles an hour, that 1,000 feet goes by way too fast. Oh my God. <laughs> nice job. Awesome. awesome. I want to thank Rodney and Michelle Modler for the opportunity. It is a blast, and they're expanding to include other things out there as well. We're going to put a link to their website in this story on kens5.com. Now, if you have something you want me to check out, and again, why don't you come along with me on some of these things? It's, uh, we have a ton of fun. Email me, bdavis at kens5.com, or hit me up on the Kens5 Facebook page or on Twitter, and go on an adventure with us into the great Texas outdoors. So